I finally made it up to the cabin. I was expecting to spend the better part of three weeks up here. I had uh, holidays, extended holidays to take, and uh, luck would have it that on the first day of my holidays, I got sick. I got the uh, got the vid. But regardless, I've got a few days left. <laughs> it's a couple days before New Year's, and uh, I'm up here with my uh, doggy. So let's get to it. Uh, a couple of days of my own solo time. It's always the best time. I'm gonna take my doggy out, check the trail cameras, take a little boo at the bees, and. Uh, See what else kind of fun we can uh, get up to this weekend. My last uh, video, I was talking about my dog uh, getting uh, not Lyme's disease, but a, another virus that was uh, caused by a tick bite. So this uh, full-length mirror behind me has always been my uh, tick checker. Last thing I do at night before going to bed is check for ticks. Uh, but uh, yeah, got this installed, and uh, pretty pretty happy with it. It's. Uh, like a barber's uh, barber's mirror on one side and close-up mirror to, in case you do have a tick you can really get it out of the back of your neck and the uh, nice thing with this is that it has a uh, built-in rechargeable light with a uh, couple of different uh, light modes <coughs> but you can spin it around um, I can also use it as a reading light because uh, I've sort of shifted things around here but uh, I usually have my uh, reading chair sitting over here. So um, yeah, rechargeable stuff is good. I like it. Let's go, let's go bud. We're gonna go outside and have an adventure. Come on. Come here, let's get you all safety up. So it's a rainy day. I love rainy days up here. I love storms. I love when we get snowed in. And uh, I think the reason is because then I, um, I don't have any excuse not to just chill and relax. You excited or what? I'm excited to be outside. Right. <laughs> if you watched uh, one of my last videos, I was talking about dealing with anxiety and how this is the place, my happy place, to come find some uh, peace of mind. And I'm happy to report that uh, the medicine is working. <laughs> Always a good idea to, when you're uh, feeling stressed and anxious or whatever, just to get yourself into some nature. Okay. Let's see what's going on with you, mister. Look at the bees. They've had a pretty easy winter this so far. The problem, of course, with uh, having such mild weather means that they uh, might may well be going through their honey stores uh, more than uh, they would be normally. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is uh, what, what do bees do during the winter? Do they hibernate? Do they go to sleep? Uh, and the answer is uh, no. They uh, don't hibernate. They uh, slow down for for sure, but they basically uh, they eat through their honey stores through the winter. Uh, they cluster through the really cold temperatures, so they stay in a really tight ball and uh, vibrate their bodies to create heat and keep the uh, queen warm and protected in the middle. Um, you lose a lot of bees in the winter, so you know winter bees are the only bees that live past uh, about six weeks and. Um, so they, uh, you know, they batten down the hatches and probably lose between, you know, 30 and 50 percent of your bees over the winter and hopefully enough of them survive and the queen survives to get through to the spring and starts laying her eggs again and uh, the uh, cycle begins. But so far, it's been a very, uh, very mild winter. See, there's uh, a few bees here that are something to clear those off. We'll clear some of these dead bees out. out. This is pretty normal. Uh, the bees do this themselves uh, on the inside of the hive and they kind of try and get all their dead on warmer days. They'll clean out their uh, their hive on their own. 
we would call the bees to the doorstep, the dead bees, the dead beets. <laughs> Just uh, taking a walk through the woods here, Come back through the deeper woods. It's so nice back here. It's uh, not really accessible in the uh, in the summertime. Uh, a lot of deer action back here for sure. I put uh, a few cameras back here as well over the years and caught some, uh, some interesting things. Oh, it's so nice to be uh, away from the city. And uh, I struggled a little bit coming up or making the decision to come up uh, just because again I was so sick. And uh, Still not 100%, but I thought, you know what, even if I'm out in the, uh, the cold and the damp, which was my most worry, biggest worry, it'll be good to uh, get some fresh air. Okay, buddy, you gonna split some wood for me? Probably not. Let's get uh, some of these bad boys split. Tonight on the menu, beautiful homemade lasagna, yay. I made this a couple of weeks ago, just before I got sick, uh, and I was planning to be up here for, you know, a couple of weeks, but uh, I lost my, completely lost my sense of taste and smell. And if you've experienced that, it's like a, it's you, it's a complete absence of it. It's like, it's gone. <laughs> here I am eating this beautiful lasagna and I couldn't taste it. I might as well have been eating cardboard. Uh, however, Tonight, we're gonna taste this. Oh my God, homemade lasagna. All right, let's get out the tool kit here. My, uh, and my taste has not come back 100%, but uh, actually let's heat this pan up first. Always a good idea to heat your pan up and we'll get this lasagna on. Heat it up there. Got stuff drying out by the uh, by the fire, and I'm really uh, enjoying this light. It's uh, it's nice. It's got some different uh, colors here. Oops. It's got a nice ambient light there. Oh, very nice. Very nice, Kaya Doodle. All right. Ooh. <laughs> that might be a little hot. It's uh, still raining out there, which is fine by me. I love it. I'm uh, nice and cozy, Kai and I, and uh, can enjoy some nice uh, lasagna. <laughs> Sniff, sniff. Another very strange winter. Um, you know, almost uh, New Year's and uh, no snow to be uh, seen. Um, and very, very mild. So it's been well above zero for the last few days and will be for the next few days, maybe for the rest of the winter. And I'm not sure I'd be up here uh, recovering uh, from this illness if I was dealing with snow. Uh, probably not, because it would be more 
more work, more wood, <laughs> more a little bit of shoveling, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> You're just too damn cute. Hey, how can you be so cute? Oh my god. You smell lasagna. All right, let's get you fed. Yours is almost as good as lasagna. Yum, yum, yum. Check it. Check that. Check it. <laughs> this is a beautiful uh, red wine. If you uh, know Baco Noirs, you probably already know this. Exceptional wine. Do yourself a favor. If you like reds, if you like deep reds, hmm, you can't do much better than this at all. A little treat for uh, for New Year's. It's so nice. It's just. <laughs> Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. All right. Shall we get to today's immunity challenge? Yeah. yeah. Right. First things first. I Don't judge me. The idols. Come on, Jay. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, have a little look at the uh, chill cam. I wanted to show you just a few of the pictures that uh, I got uh, from... I guess it would be early November, and these were uh, the deer rutting. It's kind of a uh, kind of cool. And then we'll have a look and see what's on the uh, on the new footage here. things up bud <laughs> hey oh you love it you love it all right for the first time in my life possibly I'm uh, wrapping things up early at the cabin I've uh, decided that uh, I've had enough I've been up here for three nights three four nights I don't lose track of time when you're up here it's been a uh, it's been just a wonderful last few nights I'm feeling better today now my cough seems to be finally gone we're just about done I've got the um, the generator running here uh, just to top up the battery uh, before leaving and also I've got a few rechargeables going to yell to get closer to this thing. Very quiet generator. When you got on the half load I can barely hear it inside the cabin. Uh, but uh, yeah just uh, basically topping things up so I've got a few uh, rechargeable lamps and uh, rechargeable USB charges, chargers. So top those up before I go. And um, I'm going to also grab some stuff from my uh, storage boxes over here because I'm doing a beekeeping uh, presentation in a couple of weeks. Um, and I want to bring in a box of frames to, uh, to show people what, uh, what beekeeping is all about, which is kind of fun. Uh, and that's what I enjoy doing on this channel as well. And uh, go bees. <laughs> 